Well, when it comes to trailblazing black athletes, Major Taylor may not be a name that you hear very often. But he was a cycling superstar who spent much of his life in Worcester. And as WBZ's Kate Merrill shows us, he broke racial barriers and records. I think Worcester always liked Major Taylor. It was the newspapers here that dubbed him the Worcester whirlwind. A cycling superstar in the late 1800s, it would be nearly a century before the world recognized his achievements. But cycling itself really declined mid-century. One of his biographers, Andrew Ritchie, put it this way, a dead sport doesn't remember its heroes. But the city of Worcester now honors Taylor with this monument and a new museum dedicated to him at the old Worcester Courthouse. Taylor's story began in Indiana where he first started to ride. Uh, he started doing trick riding, you know, ride backwards, sit on the handlebars. Uh, they had him doing that outside of a bike shop in Indianapolis to draw people in, wearing a military-style jacket. So somebody called him Major, and the nickname stuck. Taylor eventually moved to Massachusetts for a better and more tolerant place to live. He was really pleased to be allowed to join the YMCA in Worcester because he had been really stung as a child to be not allowed to join the Y in Indy. But even as the Worcester whirlwind really started to take off, racism remained a constant obstacle. He had a tough time in a lot of places. There were times when he couldn't get a hotel room, couldn't get a meal. All the other opponents were white at that level. They would basically gang up against him. In 1899, Taylor would become the world's one-mile sprint champion. He was the first black athlete to become an international superstar. He was headlines all over the world. He was a rock star. I liked hearing that um, sometimes people would wait for hours just for the chance to shake his hand. Well, if I only had two seconds to tell you who was Major Taylor, I would say he was the Jackie Robinson of cycling. He broke the color barrier. If I had a couple more seconds, I would point out that we should be saying it the other way around because Major Taylor did this half a century before Jackie Robinson. Major Taylor was also a man of intense faith, resisting some invitations to compete because he didn't want to race on Sunday. And that reflected in his fight against racism, famously saying, life is too short for a man to hold bitterness in his heart. Kate Merrill, WBZ News. Mm. He really is a legend. And every July in Worcester, they have this George Street Cycling Challenge where you try to go as fast as you can up a hill he trained on. And the grade at its, at its steepest part, David, is 24%. That's too much for me. <laughs> me too. <laughs> but I got to say, stories like this and events like the one you mentioned, they tell us about these heroes that sort of get lost in the history books. That's right. And generation after generation yeah. develops a deeper understanding. Mm.